channel. Excuse the sound of the wriggly baby in the background. If you're new here, my name's Lacey and I'm going to upload anything motherhood, lifestyle and home. Uh, today's video is my nursery tour and I've been really excited to film this one. Um, if there's anything in the nursery that you'd like me to do a further video of, for example clothing organisation or any ideas that you have for future videos at all, please pop them in the comments below. But with all that said, let's move on with the video. So, as you walk into the room, um, first thing is just a rubbish bin. Any old room's got to have a rubbish bin, right? Um, and then next to that, this I was going to throw away. Um, I've had it for years and years and years. Um, what well, we've been living here five years now, and I had it for probably about a year before I moved here as well. So it's quite old. The basket's fallen apart a bit, but it goes really nicely with the white furniture in here. And at the moment, it's really handy for storing all the samples of stuff that we gathered while I was pregnant. Um, so that's all in there and then on the top I've just got some anti-back wipes that I use for a changing mat and a Google Home. Um, I use the Google Home for white noise um, which is quite handy. Um, when he's having a nap in his room it's really nice and loud and it really drowns out um, any noise that I'm making outside the room. Next to that we have his chest of drawers which is also um, his changing table as well. Um, the top of this is just the perfect size for a changing table. Um, so we've got his changing mat on top here. Um, I bought this at um, the baby show um, when I was pregnant and then I just pop a muzzy up the head end because he's a bit of a spitty uppy baby. Um, so it just saves it all drooling behind his head. Um, next to that I have a basket which just holds bits like his wipes, um, some moisturisers and stuff like that for when he has had a bath. Um, and then above that we have this shelf up here. Um, so usually if I'm getting dressed, um, if his outfit's on a hanger I'll hang it up there but at the moment it just houses his dressing gown. Um, little plant from Ikea and um, the shelf from, from Ikea as well as is all the other furniture in this room um, and also these knobs here um, this shelf the bed and the wardrobe didn't come with these knobs these knobs are actually the same as the ones on um, the chest of drawers um, but what we did is we um, ordered for, via Ikea um, it's all Ikea furniture and it's free to get extras like that so we ordered um, a set of extra uh, knobs so we could put them and have them all matching around the room um also on the shelf this i've just dumped up here for now but i need to put this on the wall soon it's a hundred things to do with dad um i bought it for my husband last christmas when i was pregnant um it's just one of those scratch off posters which is really cute um this lamp here just a small battery op operated lamp um it's really quite handy for um nighttime changes actually um you can pop it on this sort of color changing mode um, but it's also got a white mode as well and that's just enough light um, to sort of change him during the night which is really good. Um, you can probably hear him babbling away in the background. <laughs> um, also on this shelf um, is just a couple of things we got from Centre Park. So a little sign we made with his name. Um, it was just a little thing where you can pick the letters um, and make your own signs because we've given him a name that I can find nothing with his name on which is great. <laughs> Um, and then this I also bought at Centre Parks as well, it's just a really lovely sort of gold version of the Guess How Much I Love You book. Um, and then this here is just a rattle that was bought uh, for him by my auntie. Um, and it's got his name on the bottom here, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, that just sits up there, it's a little like, decorative piece. Uh, moving along, down the side of his chest of drawers, we have his nappy bed we've got his angel care bath seat now that was a bargain because they're like usually 27 28 pounds i got that for a fiver on facebook which was brilliant um and then we have his washing basket um and then just a basket of bath toys and bath stuff um i'm probably going to do a bit of a drawer organization video um soon uh when he starts moving up into a six to nine stuff but i'll just show you briefly what's in them now so we have his nappies, wipes and bath stuff and then just a few extra bits up the back like medicines, um, spare nappy bags and stuff like that. It's just all tucked up the back there. Uh, this draws all his clothes, anything that doesn't hang up. So his onesies, vests, uh, bibs, socks, tops and trousers. And in the bottom drawer, um, this is where I keep his muslins, just keep them in a basket here rolled up. 
um, towels, swimming stuff and hats, and then just this long sleeve vest that won't fit in the second drawer there as well. Um, over here we have a built-in wardrobe, and um, we've got the same thing in my room as well. This is it's been here for years. Um, it's the same next door as well, believe it or not. Um, I used to live next door because my parents live next door. Um, so I'm renting out this place next door um, to my parents, which is really handy. Um, but basically their house is just the exact opposite of this one, which is really funny. Um, and in this wardrobe... Um, it's just a storage cupboard really so at the moment it's just got sort of spare bedding up the top um, it's where I'll shove sort of packaging for stuff that I want to keep um, his old bottle stuff that he's sort of grown out of like little bottles uh, soft toys that we had before we had him that I have no idea what to do with so that's just a bit of a storage cupboard for now um, moving on next to that uh, we just have a fireplace a boarded up fireplace here um, on top of that we have just a little Winnie the Pooh wooden train set um, Winnie's a bit bigger but he can start playing with stuff like that we will get it down um, for him to play with and I'll probably put a few more decorative things on here um, and next to that one is a train and we went to Centre Parks in September and we did a pottery painting sort of day um, and my sister made him this so it's like a bluey sort of themed uh, money box train money box which is really adorable so that sits up there as well just future editing Lacey here that realised she'd missed out one minute detail of the room but I really wanted to show you. Um, this shelf, it was reduced in I think Tesco, I think it was, or Sainsbury's. I bought it years ago and I've just never got around to putting it up in a room. Um, and then when my I asked my cousin to come and fit this shelf for me, um, I realised actually this would go lovely above the fireplace and it's just a bit of extra decorative space. So um, this is along with the box that I showed you with the pregnancy test in, or I'm going to show you depending on when this goes in. Um, this is how I announced my pregnancy to my partner and our families. Um, this is just a cute little money box and some little sort of keepsake tea, uh, tins for um, sort of first teeth and stuff like that um, that he got from his great gran um, and then just a little um, Peter Rabbit up there but yeah just another little decorative um, decorative space that I wanted to show you um, down here now on the floor and I'll show you over here in a second as well um, hello <laughs> there are a few things like he's got to uh, sort of grow into yet sort of bigger toys for him to play with but um, we don't have anywhere else to put them so they just sit on the floor sort of around the edges of the room so this believe it or not it was from a little pickles market um, and it was two pounds two pounds that was a bargain um this also another bargain um this was given to me or oh, given to me by um my dad who bought it off a friend and um, usually about 50 odd pounds we got it for 15 again absolute bargain with that as well that's just keeping a few bits on top of that at the moment and then next to that we have his wardrobe um, this is where I put obviously his hang upable clothes but also clothes that he hasn't grown into yet um, on the top again just soft toy storage and storage for sort of like bigger bits like his old um, plastic bath there as well um, and in the wardrobe again you'll see we've got the same knobs on here as well um, hung up clothes um, I'll go through this in a bit more detail another time but every time the hanger, hangers change to red I've put them in sort of like colour order and every time it changes to red it's a new size um, so that's my way of just knowing what size is what um, up here sort of storage for stuff that he's not grown into yet um, and the same down here along with um, sort of extra nappies and stuff like that um, coats and that for the winter and these boxes here are just what I'm storing all the stuff that I want to keep that he has grown out of um, to the left of that we have on the floor this here this little uh, cushion giraffe seat um, and this ginormous bunny <laughs> these were bought for, uh, or given to my husband by a colleague that he works with which was really lovely um, so again they just sit on his floor and they'll probably stay sort of like in the corner sort of where they are and this again another bargain um, usually I think it's usually near a sort of the £80 mark but I think I got this for about £20-£25 in a charity shop literally nothing wrong with it perfect condition no marks or anything so that's something again like this one over here um, that I'm probably going to save for his um, sort of first birthday or when he starts walking 
to put the radiator onto the window. We still need to get some curtains for this window. Um, he's six months next month, so uh, we need to get a move on with that because we're going to move in into his own room when he's six months. Um, but this little rainbow on the window, I think it's just something that my sister got us either for Christmas or for baby shower, but the tang's on the window because it's cute. Um, and then to the left of that, we have his cot. Um, storage underneath the cot which is perfect this is where I keep all things like his blankets his um uh sort of sleep suits his like sleeping bags and stuff like that so that all goes on to there again we've got matching knobs to match everything else in the room for that as well um obviously when he actually starts sleeping in her overnight I will take the um soft toys out of here but he's not rolling yet he's really lazy um so he only goes in here for daytime naps and I've always got a camera on him anyways but I will be taking those out eventually we have on the cot his cot mobile um so this you can take this bit off and you can put it on the pram um, when they're a bit older you can detach this bit and you can have this bit solely on its own like on a dressing table or something as their night light which is brilliant um, so yeah that's really cute and then over here we have um, just a small Calax unit which I just store um, sort of decorative pieces on it's a little bit of extra storage um, attached to this is his camera so his camera is a Motorola one that didn't actually come with um, its own mount um, so I bought this one on Amazon um, it's called uh, flexi twist um, it's literally just an arm that you can clip on to, I'm assuming you would usually clip it onto the cot but I thought because it's out of reach of him I clipped it to, to the Calax um, and it's just perfect to have the camera right there um, over him when he's sleeping there as well which is good um, and then yeah just a simple four cube Calax to fill up this gap and just give us a bit of extra storage um, we've got two baskets of toys on the floor that's got some soft toys that's just other toy bits as well um, we've got books down the bottom we've also got a whole Calax square of books downstairs as well um, I'm obsessed with those um, a few sort of decorative pieces and a little keepsake tin uh, more keepsake boxes and um, this is all got all the cards and that for my baby shower I think um, a couple of photo albums um, and then down here again another few like keepsake boxes as well and um, this is my favourite one. This is how I announced our pregnancy um, to my husband and our parents. And it's just a um, little wooden box that we went to a place called Manor in Ashbury. Um, I do a lot of sort of craft classes there. So I did this, I um, can't remember what it's called now, but when you sort of like etch it on, like you burn it on. So I made like a Winnie the Pooh box. Did this years ago with the intention of obviously using it when we have a baby. Um, but yeah, this just houses all our positive pregnancy tests. Obviously this one's dead now, so I don't know where that's still in there. Um, but yeah, that just holds, it's just like really cute sort of memories in there, which is cool. So that is all over this side. Um, on the back of the door, um, I just have his um, swimming bag that's got um, the swimming bits in, his inflatable and stuff like that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was just how we decorated the room. Um, so we've got a rug on the floor. I think I bought this from uh, B&M, I believe. Is it B&M or The Range? Um, but I just wanted something to make this room feel a little bit more cosy, um, a little bit more like a nursery, so a bit of a fluffy rug. And this one literally is the softest thing ever. Um, on that, just because I've got nowhere else to put it, sits his um, Nemo play map. Um, this thing it has sort of lights in the top half and it plays music as well, which is really cool. Um, yeah, but he really loves playing under that at the moment. And then the walls. Um, so all of the walls we have just painted like a sort of lime green. Um, wait for that to focus. So yeah, all the walls we've painted just a really nice lime green. And then on this side by his car, I did want some sort of like feature wall. And I spent ages and ages on Google um, trying to decide um, on sort of a theme or um, an easy way to decorate this room just to make it a little bit more special. Um, and I came across um, mountains um, that are really easy to do. Um, all you've got to do is sort of draw up your shapes um, on the wall with a pencil, um, tape it up with some frog tape or masking tape, and then obviously um, paint your colours. Now what I did obviously have to do is I would tape over this side of the line first um, and then paint this colour and then once this colour was dry I'd move the tape to that side of the line and then I could obviously do these bits as well um, but yeah really easy to do and I'm so pleased with how it come out it's really cute 
uh, really calming as well it's really nice calming colors um but it just makes it look a bit more like a nursery um and yeah i really love it um but I think that is pretty much it. So um, if you like this video and you want to see more, um, please do uh, click the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm going to do potentially a secondhand clothing haul. Um, like I say, probably um, a sort of draw organisation video once um, he starts moving up into his six to nine as well. Um, but yes, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bless you.